finally the wait is over. It's been three long months since the last update, but the latest Arrow OS 13.1 with the most recent Android security update of April 2023 has arrived. We are thrilled to dive in and explore all the new features and changes made in this ROM. Welcome to Cracksoid. Today we'll be taking a deep dive into the latest ROS running on Android version 13. I have installed this ROM on my Redmi Note 8 device and this ROM features the quick silver kernel in it and we'll be covering everything from exciting new features to impressive customizations. Benchmark scores like Antutu Benchmark and Geekbench 6 and even CPU throttling test. But that's not all, we'll also be comparing this latest update with other custom ROMs and its own previous build. So you can see exactly what's changed and how it stacks up against the competition. So without further ado, let's jump right into the latest ROS and explore every new change and improvement. Camera Let's kick things off by discussing the camera, one of the most important features on any smartphones. The ROS comes equipped with the MIY camera just like its previous version and it offers fully functioning 48 megapixel and portrait mode. The camera app appears to be working flawlessly and the quality of the photos we took using this app are impressive. But if you prefer using Google Camera on your device, you'll be happy to know that we tested the latest Google Camera 8.8 .8 on this ROM and it's working without any issues. User Experience When it comes to user experience, the Arrow OS ROM offers a smooth and responsive interface that's easy to use. While the design may not be fanciest, we appreciate the clean look and lack of unnecessary apps. Although there's a slight delay when pulling down the quick setting panel, it does not affect the overall experience much. One of the most impressive things about this ROM is how fast apps open and close, even demanding apps run smoothly with no lag or delay. We are curious to know what you think of the user experience on ArrowOS. Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Have you noticed any lags or slowdown? Are you satisfied with the speed and animation? Your feedback is important to us and we are excited to hear what you have to say. Google Photo Storage If you're tired of constantly running out of space on your phone or losing precious photos and videos, ArrowOS has got you covered with its Google Photos Unlimited Storage feature. You can upload as many photos and videos as you want without worrying about running out of space on Google Photos app. This is perfect for the photographers or anyone who wants to keep a backup of their memories on the cloud. But we want to hear from you. Are you constantly battling storage limitation on your phone? Would you like to take more photos and videos if you had unlimited storage? Let us know in the comments below. Launcher Let's talk about the launcher now. The latest version of Arrow OS comes with Arrow Launcher which offers a simple and straightforward home screen with limited customization options. However, one great addition is the inclusion of parallel space, which is a rare feature among custom ROMs nowadays. And unfortunately, some features from the previous version of ArrowOS, such as the taskbar and hidden and protected apps have been removed. However, you can still access a range of app settings from the recent app section. This includes app info, force close, split screen, uninstall and even freeform mode for certain apps. And in the recent app section, you'll also find two quick action buttons for screenshot and clear all. After taking a screenshot, you can easily share, edit or delete it. However, unlike other custom ROMs, ArrowOS does not yet provide the search lens option after taking a screenshot. As you know personally, I find this feature quite useful as it makes it easier to search for something using Google Lens directly after taking a screenshot. What are your thoughts on the launcher of ArrowOS? Let us know in the comments below. Wallpaper and Styles Moving on to the wallpaper and style, ArrowOS offers a wide range of customization options for users to personalize their device. You can choose from variety of wallpaper colors including basic colors and now even multi-color options are available. Additionally, the OS includes features like dark mode, themes, app grid and font and save customization. In the past, ArrowOS used to have custom themed icon and system icon packs which have been replaced with these new options. While some users may miss the old icon packs, these new customization options offer even more flexibility in making your device truly your own. Quick Settings Let's talk about the Quick Settings panel on ArrowOS. This panel is designed to provide quick and easy access to frequently used features and settings. One of the standout features of the Quick Setting panel is the inclusion of a QR code scanner, 
which makes it easy to scan codes on the go without having to download a separate app. The compass style is also a handy addition for anyone who frequently travels or enjoys outdoor activities. Another useful feature is the always on display tile which lets you easily turn on or off this feature. And if you prefer a more minimalist quick setting panel, you can easily customize the tiles by adding or removing them according to your preferences. Overall, the quick setting panel in AeroOS may not offer as many tiles as some other custom rooms, but the ones it does provide are well designed and useful. Settings Now let's explore the settings section of AeroOS and take a look at some of the customizations and features available. Private DNS In the network and internet settings, you will find the private DNS feature which allows you to specify a DNS server for your device to use. This feature can be useful for users who want to enhance their online privacy and security by using a trusted DNS provider. This feature can be useful for users who want to enhance their online privacy and security by using a trusted DNS provider. However, it's worth noting that AeroOS does not yet support custom DNS provider names, so you will have to enter the server address manually. Battery. Let's talk about the battery settings which is completely same as Pixel OS which I just reviewed yesterday and this is packed with features to help you get the most out of your device battery life. With 5 different options to choose from you can easily monitor and optimize your battery uses. The battery uses option gives you a detailed breakdown of how much power each app and feature is consuming so you can identify the battery draining culprits and adjust your uses accordingly. The battery saver feature is perfect for those times when you need to extend your battery life as it limits background activity and reduces performance to conserve energy. For more in-depth information on your battery health and uses over time, check out the battery manager option. You can also display your current battery level as a percentage in the status bar with the battery percentage option. And if you are worried about running out of juice, the low battery light feature flashes the device notification LED when your battery is running low. And in its previous version, there was battery icon style option present for more customizations like battery style and more but this version of AeroOS has removed that feature. Sound and vibration. Let's now move on to the sound and vibration settings where you'll find some options to customize your device sound and vibration experience. Along with the standard options like ringtone, media and alarm volume, there are some unique features available in Pixel OS. One such feature is the show volume panel on left option which shifts the volume control panel to the left side of the screen for easy access with one hand or with the left hand. Display Moving towards the display setting, AeroOS offers a dark theme option that is already a standard feature in most Android devices. But what makes this ROM stand out is the custom theme that makes the background even darker, giving a piece black look that is easy on the eyes and gives a premium feel to the overall user experience. Furthermore, in the same display setting, you will find the network traffic indicator option. This feature displays real-time network speed on the status bar, making it easier to keep track of your data uses. And if you prefer a cleaner look, you can hide the network traffic when it's inactive. And in its previous version, there was ignore window secure flag option at last instead of this network traffic indicator option. Security and app lock. When it comes to security, AeroOS has got you covered with its app lock feature. With this feature, you can add an extra layer of protection to specific apps by locking them with a password or your fingerprint. However, keep in mind that you need to have a screen lock enabled to use this feature as the app lock feature uses the same lock method. But one thing that's missing is the option for face unlock to unlock your phone. While the fingerprint option is not there because I have removed fingerprint wire from my device but the absence of face unlock can be a little disappointing, especially when it was available in the previous build of AeroOS. Hopefully this is something that the developers will consider adding in the future updates. Xiaomi Parts There is a section called Xiaomi Parts which offers some additional features to enhance your device experience. One of the most useful features is the MI Sound Enhancer option which can improve the audio output of your device. Another great feature is the Clear Speaker option and if you are someone who is particular about colors then you will appreciate the Display Color Calibration feature which allows you to adjust the color saturation and temperature of your display to your liking. There are also other features available in Xiaomi parts such as LCD features, ambient display gesture and vibration control. Gestures 
Let's dive into the system setting and explore the gesture setting where you'll find an array of useful features. One of them is the playback control that lets you skip music tracks by simply long pressing the volume keys when the screen is off. This is a nifty feature for those who love to listen to music on the go. Another exciting feature is the swipe to screenshot gesture which lets you capture your screen with ease by swiping three fingers across it. This is particularly useful for those who need to take frequent screenshots for work or personal use. Additionally, you can access the advanced reboot option by navigating to the press and hold power button settings. This feature enables you to reboot into recovery or bootloader mode with ease, making it a must-have feature for advanced users who frequently tweak their device setting. Antutu Benchmark Score Now let's talk about the Antutu Benchmark Score. We conducted a test on the latest ROS and the results are quite impressive. The device scored 207449 on the Antutu benchmark, indicating that the ROM is optimized for excellent performance and can handle demanding tasks without breaking a sweat. To give you some context, the latest Pixel OS scored slightly higher with a score of 208078. Nevertheless, the ROS still performs exceptionally well and its capabilities are truly remarkable. Geekbench 6 score. Moving on to the Geekbench 6 scores for the ROS, the ROS performed admirably on the Geekbench 6 test, achieving a single core score of 319 and multi core score of 1148. When we compare the latest ROS with Pixel OS, we see a neck to neck competition in terms of performance. The Pixel OS scored 320 in the single core test and 1169 in the multi core test, which is quite impressive. While the Pixel OS did score slightly higher, both ROMs are performing well in terms of performance CPU throttling test now let's talk about the CPU throttling test I ran the test for a solid 15 minutes to see how well the CPU performs under heavy load unfortunately the results were a bit underwhelming as the CPU throttled down to 94% of its maximum performance while the average score of 133387 GIPS is decent it's not great I have seen other custom ROMs that have provided better results in the same test however it's worth noting that the pixel OS had a similar result with a 94% CPU throttle rate but with a slightly lower average score of 135992 GIPS overall while the ROS may not have achieved the highest scores in the test, it still performed admirably and held its own against the Pixel OS. The throttling rate was not ideal, but it's not a deal breaker and may not affect the device day to day performance. Safety net compatibility test. The safety net compatibility test checks whether the ROM meets Google security standards, ensuring that sensitive apps like banking and payment apps can run safely on the device. I'm happy to say that ROS passed this test, which means you can use and download apps from the Google Play Store without any safety concern. Additionally, on the Google Play Store app, you can see under the Play Protect certification label that the device is Play Protect certified. This means it meets Google security requirements and can access apps that require a certified device. So you can be confident that your device is secure and protected with ROS. Conclusion Based on the features and customization options that ROS offers, it can be concluded that it's a solid ROM option for users who want a clean and organized interface, a good battery life, and additional customization options. However, one downside is that the ROM doesn't offer a face unlock feature which may be a deal breaker for some users who prioritize this feature. Overall, this ROS is a great option for users who want a simple and smooth Android experience on their phone. This ROM is liked by many people and has also proved by providing excellent user experience to the users. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end and what do you think about this ROM? You can share your experience and suggestions on comment section below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksuite. And if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to Cracksuite. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.